Hi everybody. So today is Friday's um, lesson. It is 10 to October 2nd and I will be doing um, the run through of what we're going to be going over on Zoom. So first we're going to start with um, our GAT and we've been talking about our iMessage. So if something upsets you, you don't want to tell your friend um, you know, mean things. You want to tell them exactly how you're feeling and why. So if you had a friend come over and take your pencil and you're really upset. You walk up to your friend and you say, I am very upset when you take my pencil without asking. Then your friend has to repeat what you're saying so they are listening so they know that you are upset because of their actions. And then we can do like a little peace path to help solve and come up with solutions. But I messages are so important because that helps um, teach you how to communicate to your friends and talk to them and then come to a mutual um, agreement so you guys don't you know continue fighting so practicing an I message to one of your family members so tell them an I message and how you are feeling today so I feel happy because I get to see you on zoom here in a little bit so those are our I messages and then we can go straight into our daily message so my daily message, I'm gonna write it here. I'm gonna share my screen. It's a little blurry. Okay, daily message. We've been learning about the body. So we've been learning about my our brains. And yesterday we learned about bones and muscles. Can we learn about the stomach? I'm curious because my sentence is done. All right, so we're learning about the stomach. So let me get a double pause on the other one. Our red word, so our red word is my stomach and digest. So our daily message says, my stomach is inside my body. It digests my food. Ooh, look, our red word, my, looks a little different. This my is a capital M because it's at the beginning of my sentence. This my is a lowercase m because it's in the middle of my sentence. And then we have stomach. Tell your family, what does it mean? What does the word stomach mean? Yes, stomach is a part of your body. So when you eat your food, it goes down the throat and into your stomach. And what happens inside your stomach, it digests. What do you think the word digest means? That's right, digest means it breaks down the food into itty bitty little pieces so your body can absorb it, okay? So when our stomach breaks down food, we say that it di is digesting our food. Our body digests foods after we eat. The stomach is a part of inside your body that mashes up the food that you eat. So when I eat food, it moves from my mouth into my stomach. All right. So I'm going to share this for lesson for today. So here's our digestive system. Oh, wait, hold on. I gotta make sure my, oh, yep, you won't be able to hear it. The volume. 
Do you know what happens when you eat an apple? Like all... Oh, hold on, my volume is not working. Nope, that's not working. So... Oh, there we go. I had to turn it back to my computer. Okay, now let's see. All the food you eat, the apple goes on a trip through your body. It begins when you carefully chew the apple with your teeth. The bites of apple mixed with saliva in your mouth, which makes it moist and mushy and easier to swallow. Then the food moves through a long tube called the esophagus, which takes it to your stomach. Special stomach juices break the food up into smaller pieces so your body can take out vitamins and other good things that help you run and jump and think and grow. When it leaves your stomach, food travels through another pair of long tubes called intestines. It goes through the small intestine first, where good things like the vitamin C in the apple are taken out. Then the part of the food your body doesn't need travels through the large intestine and out through your body's garbage can. All right, so that's a little overview of what the digestive system is. Stomach. Your stomach is the part of your body below your chest. When you eat food, it travels down your throat into your stomach, where it's turned into the energy you need to live your life every day. Oops. <laughs> One more. Digest. When we eat food, chemicals in our stomach turn that food into energy that our body needs to move and live. When this happens in our stomach, we say that we are digesting our food. The hippo is eating apples. When he digests the apples, he gets lots of energy from them. He's ready to run! Alright, so we, we have a picture of a stomach and then digest. So where, you know, you eat the food goes down all the way into your stomach. Alright, now it's time to say a rhyme. It's time to say a rhyme to tell you what we know. We'll say our rhyme on tippy toes. We'll say it way down low. We'll say our rhyme when sitting down. We'll say it as we go. Would you like to hear our rhyme? Tell us yes or no. Yes. Do the motions. My body is amazing from my head to my toes. My head holds my brain, eyes, mouth, ears, and nose. My arms have elbows and wrists and hands. My fingers spread wide to do some handstands. My legs have knees and ankles and feet. My feet have toes that tap to keep a beat. My trunk holds my stomach, lungs, and my heart. My skin keeps my body from coming apart. My bones and my muscles help me dance around. My body is amazing from my head to the ground. My body is amazing from my head to the ground. All right. So today for our rhyming, we're going to be doing Joey Talk. So it's not going to be rhyming. I'm going to be sounding out each sound in a word, and then you try to say what word I am sounding out. So the first word is what word am I sounding out? That's right. Nose. All right. Second one. 
eggs. Little eggs. What word am I sounding out? Little eggs. Legs. Great job. All right, next one. A d. A d. What word am I sounding out? A d. Head. Great job. So that is Joey talk. This time I sounded out the sounds, and then you try guessing out the word. Next time I'm going to say the word, and then you practice sounding out the sounds. Okay. All right, for our read aloud, it is up on our Google Classroom, and it is The Very Hungry Caterpillar, and I hope you enjoy it. It's a great book, but before you um, listen to it, or if you already did, we have a couple new words. So our new words for this book is called hungry. What is it? What does the word hungry mean? That's right. Hungry means that you want to eat some food. So your stomach is wanting to eat some food because your body needs more energy. So our second one is called stomach. And we kind of learned what stomach means. Yes, it's when you eat the food because you're hungry, your food goes down into your stomach. But then the caterpillar gets a stomach ache. So what does it mean to get a stomach ache? Some of you probably have had a stomach ache before. What does it mean? That's right. When someone has a stomach ache, his or her stomach hurts usually because he ate way too much. When you eat so much food, you get a stomach ache. Sometimes I get that when I'm eating lots of food during Thanksgiving. Don't you guys overeat sometimes on Thanksgiving food? Yes. The next word is called cocoon. What does the word cocoon mean? Some types of animals make a special cover for their bodies while they grow and change, and this is called a cocoon. So a butterfly, so caterpillars, if it's a caterpillar that turns into a butterfly, it goes through stages in life. And right before they turn into a butterfly, they make this kind of chrysalis cocoon as they're changing and developing into a butterfly in the cocoon. So it's a covering for the caterpillar so they could change into a butterfly safely. So if you haven't read the story yet on Google Classroom, please go do so. It's a great book. And then on Monday, we're going to be going over and asking questions. All right, next, we're going to be doing our letters. So I'm going to go back to our slides. Repeat after me, A, apple. B, bat and ball. C, caterpillar. D, dinosaur. E, elephant. F, flower. G, girl. H, horse. I, insect. J, jump. K, kangaroo, L, leg, M, mountain, N, net, O, octopus, P, parrot, Q, queen, R, rabbit, S, snake, T, tower, U, umbrella, V, vulture, W, worm, X, exercising fox, Y, yo-yo, and Z, zipper. Now we're going to review some of the letters we have worked on. Caterpillar. <laughs> Uh-oh. 
but today we have a new one. Are you ready for my silly sentence? You gotta listen closely. The kangaroo keeps kicking. Let's listen. What sound do you hear over and over again? The kangaroo keeps kicking. What sound is it? That's right, it's K. So today we're gonna learn about the letter K and the sound. So let's go back to our slides so you can see. It is K for kangaroo. Here's our silly cartoon. Kangaroo. All right, the K says K, just like how the C does too, it goes K. So let's look at our cards. Oh, key, king, and kite. Repeat after me. Key, king, and kite. Good job. When we make the K sound, is my mouth wide open like we say the A sound going ah? No. Is my mouth closed like for M? Mm -hmm. No. My mouth's a little open. Just like how we say the K sound for C. It's the same sound going K for K. Awesome job. Awesome job. So now let's look at the uppercase K and the lowercase K. Uppercase K, they kind of look very similar, but for the uppercase K, the um, kind of looks like a sideways V is a little bit bigger than the lowercase K. So today, when you are practicing your letter writing, you're doing the lowercase K. So I'm going to show you on my piece of paper how to do a lowercase K. I'm share my screen. Okay. Marker. So I have the red line right here. So I'm gonna go to the red line to the blue line, just like we do for the uppercase K. But then for my sideways little V part, I'm gonna go from the dash line. And then see how it looks like kind of like a sideways V? And it's a little smaller. I have a long, looks like a number one. And then I slant in from the dash line to my line. And then right where they touch, kick it out for a kickstand so it doesn't fall over. Do you have nice and neat? See how I have spaces between the letters I practice writing? Nice and neat and control. We don't want to write it like this. Or like up here. No. Nice and neat on the line. Take your time. Good job. And then we have the uppercase U. So we'll be learning about the, up, the U on Monday. So we start from the red line to the blue line and all the way up. That's the uppercase U. Red, blue, red. Because you don't want to have it like a point like that because that's a V. And you don't want to get them mixed up. So you to make sure this part right here is nice and rounded. Goes to red, blue, red. Great job. So you have that to write today, to practice um, as long and to read the do the read aloud. Next, we're gonna be doing our journals. So we are doing day three on our journals. It's our head to toe journal on day three. So on day three, you write about something you like to eat. So what do you like to eat? What is something that you like to eat? Mm. I'm gonna do a sentence starter to help you. I like
I like to eat, here's your sentence starter, and you fill it in. I like to eat pizza, I like to eat spaghetti, I like to eat pizza rolls, chipotle, tacos. You fill it in and then draw me a yummy picture to show you what you like to eat. Okay. All right, and once you're done with that, we're gonna be reading our book, The Checkup. All right, so if, I mean, when you're done with your journal, because you could pause the video so you could do the I like to eat, so you can write that down. Get the checkup out. This is going to be our new book. It's called Checkup. Hmm. What does it mean to have a checkup? Kind of looks like they're at like a doctor's office. Maybe that's the doctor because it looks like she has like a stethoscope that she's wearing that you use to listen to patients' heart and lungs. So checkup. And here's the author, Barbara Wasik, and the illustrations are by Stephanie S. Rice. Let's turn the page. Put your finger on the first word. The doctor checks my eyes. The doctor checks my eyes. Turn the page. Put your finger on the first word. The doctor checks my knees. The doctor checks my knees. Hang on the first word. The doctor checks my ears. The doctor checks my ears. Turn the page. Turn on the first word. The doctor checks my throat. The doctor checks my throat. Bring on the first word. The doctor checks my heart. The doctor checks my heart. Turn the page and put your finger on the first word. The doctor checks my height. The doctor checks my height. The doctor checks my weight. The doctor checks my weight. Last page. Turn on the first word. Now, that's a healthy checkup. Now, that's a healthy checkup. Great job. Great job. So now, once we're done with this, we're going to be moving on to our math. So earlier this week, we've been learning about number six and seven. I put her name on it. Six and seven. So today we're going to be learning the next two numbers. What's the number that comes after seven? Eight. Great job. So we're going to be practicing looking, uh, counting to number eight, and then the number that comes after eight is nine. So look, we have a ten frames right here. Last week we saw fives frame. Now we're doing a tens frame. So we have to color it in and count, see how many we have right here. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now let's color this one in and see how many we have right here. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 
So I'm going to be practicing counting to eight and nine today. So let's open it up and go to number one. Number one, we see sandwiches. Let's count to see how many sandwiches we have. As we count, I like to put a line through it so you don't count it twice. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There's nine sandwiches. So let's see how many counters we have to match it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, let's see how many of these sandwiches we have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, eight of these sandwiches. Let's see how many counters to match it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have eight counters to match, eight sandwiches. Do number three. I count the nine sandwiches. Let's see how many counters we have. Nine. All right, number four. Oh, I don't see any counters. We have to fill in the counters, so let's count the strawberries. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, we have nine strawberries. Now we have to fill it in. One, two, three, four, five. We start at the top first, fill in all five up top first, then you move to the bottom. Six, seven, eight, nine. Great job. All right, count the juice boxes. Then fill in your counters. I counted eight. One, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, now do the water bottles. Do I have enough for the water bottles? No. I only have five. I need three more. Six, seven, eight. Great job. So now next, after we finish the math magazine, you do your extra math practice. So you practice reading the book, The Checkup. Listen to the read aloud on the Google Classroom. Complete the math magazine, the extra math practice. Write your uppercase K, I mean your lowercase K's and your uppercase U. Complete your journal. Then you do your um, your extra writing or drawing activity. And then you should be done, right? You should be done and have a great weekend, okay? So I'll see you in a little bit on Zoom if you attend. If not, I hope you have a great weekend. Great job, everybody. Go woohoo! All right, see you guys, bye.